and triple X. How do you, how do you even determine that? How, haters, they're just jealous because I have a beautiful yeah, you better get you some 38 D's because that's nasty. You need to get a breast reduction and put something on your ass. All right. Your, your man don't think it's good. Okay, this is for Pound Cake. Is your name? What's your name? Cupcake. Cupcake, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Cupcake. You actually have a question? Okay. You have all these sugar daddies now. What happens when you get all droopy and wrinkled and the little girl Britney Spears comes in? Um, I, 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 the people like me for me a lot of times is not just about the way I look. It's the person that I am. So when you get older, you, you sometimes get better. Yeah. But, you know, but if it's about the person it. you are, then why do you have to show so much when you go out? For promotions. <laughs> I'm promoting. You said the audience in Chicago was a bunch of primates. Well, they were primates because they were jealous because the, of the women. The women were all jealous? Here's a jealous woman. Huh? You jealous? No, I'm never jealous, but you need to put some lotion on the last year. Now, you're a dancer now. You have any future plans? What do you want to do later on in life? Yes, I'll probably feature dance. And yeah, I do like doing movies. So I'll go back to LA and make $12,000 in 10 days. Unlike some of you women who either hate me and want to hurt me or love me and want to be with no, me. You have flash truckers basically on the highway. Yep, I keep them safe, keep them awake. Can you paid for those too, right? Yes, I you did. Paid for those, and have have you uh, done better since then? I mean, you get oh, more yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, I've gotten more bookings. My booking prices have gone up. Yeah. Guys, give me bigger tips. Did you get bigger arrested? One, you got arrested one time, or almost arrested? Almost arrested, for yes, what? because I was uh, dressed so sexy that he almost called me in. He told me that I had to go home and change. I told him no, I was going on an interview. All right, let's take a vote, audience. Is she uh, no hottie, or is she got a banging body? <laughs> Gene, you talking about that you got a couple divas up here, look like you got a bunch of golden retrievers, you know what I'm saying? She fine. She got all that makeup on, and she hollering about ice, and she ain't got no fake amps and D's and whatever else you got. So, Trick, please, to the back, baby. For her, uh, you said you had your breast paid for, right? My name's Ariana, yeah. Ariana, you should have somebody pay for your face and some new legs. Take your girl. Take your girl. Hold on, my fingers. So mean, because she tried to get on my girl. Hold on, my fingers. Take your girl, take her stomach, and put it back here because you ain't got enough ass.
say, you must have been knocked out or something, because there's no way that's natural unless you went back in the line twice or something. I said, look natural. I didn't say it's natural. Ariel, no, she says they're natural looking implants. Oh, the implants are high. Was that the rent money? I'd like to know you what like you guys it. do once you your like career's it. up as a dancer and his little 18-year-old like come it. in and take your mm. jobs. What's next? They're dumb. They don't bother me. They're stupid. <laughs> so what do you do? Yeah, that's a fair question. Someda <laughs> someday <laughs> the body's going to go. Anything. Someday yeah, the body's going to go. The looks are going to go. What? Then what do you do if you can't dance? We don't need you. You know, we have it all. You don't need it. See that again. You don't need youth. Why? Because we have attitude and because guys want us anyway. Who's going to want a 50-year-old dancer with attitude? Who's going to be a 50-year-old dancer? When we come back, more hot babes who claim they should hold the title of America's sexiest chest ever. Also, you'll meet some hotties whose skimpy gear was almost as outrageous as their lifestyles. Don't go away. These next hotties were either dressing too sexy, using their booty and their bra sizes to play men, or flashing their assets for cash. But they all had one thing in common, an audience with one-liners that just wouldn't quit. All I have to say is that you shouldn't need to wear clothes like that to have guys look at you. If you want a guy to like you for who you are, you don't need clothes like that. Son, and you go to the school. You don't go to the school in clothes like this. And then, no, 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 no. What's your best feature? What's what's the best thing about you? Oh, my best feature? Uh -huh. What I think? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I actually thought I, th I thought you were I thought you were fond of your feet, CJ. I thought you were fond of your feet. My oh yes, my feet. Yeah, in the foot fetish community, which mm -hmm. I do video for, yeah. they love it. We, you know, we just like, we rub lotion and we put them in strawberries and whipped cream and chocolate. Really? Yeah, we have lo other women that suck my toes. It's awesome. Okay, baby girl, you can't knock no big girl, because I'm a big girl, but I still look good. So you can't knock her for what she look oh, like. You know what? She because you ain't not let me eat the baby, so don't go down. Don't go down. Oh, I know, you're probably one of those people that's McDonald's and give me four Big Macs and a large Diet Coke. Oh, yeah. For CJ, because I don't think it's very nice to make fun of fat people. Uh, you said you were Thank particular you. when it comes to men. Well, if they're dating you, they couldn't be too particular themselves. Oh, is that a fact? And look at you. What do you have to offer? What do you have to offer? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You don't know anything about me as a person. So if I were you, I would just stow your mouth right now. CJ, I think when Most you... Most of the men I know would put a bag on her friggin' head. That's what they would do. You said that, uh, 60-year-old lady, CJ, uh, are you gay or something? Because you keep on touching all these ladies. <laughs> you gay? Are you gay? You gay? You gay? You gay? You gay? Like, two days after I met him, he, like, I was just dropped a hint, like, baby, I want something, you know? I want that Durango, you know? I want that BMW. And you got a Durango. So the guy gives you stuff, but you sh He takes me and my four kids on any trip. Oh, any trip, okay? You got to do it. If you don't do it, you got to do if it right. If you got to do Durango, why you didn't get a solid kind of outfit that comes in the show on? Baby, Oh, I came up for Christmas. Oh, I. Me? 
Nineteen even got guys no. bought you cars, right? Yes. And what'd you give these nineteen guys? Baby, I good time. Baby, you look like a no, no, man. No, no, listen, listen, listen. You look like a man. is, first of all, no men in the world are going to marry you. No. No men are going to marry you. Let, no, seriously. Start seriously. Seriously. If you thought you'd seen it all when it comes to sexy women on this show, we thought so too. Until we met these three women. Colt 45, Echo Valley, and this last woman whose name says it all, Maxie Mounds. Take a look. I'm back. I'm bigger than ever, and I love it. Um, and the reason is because I had an accident. I actually blew out my implant. And so, we had to get more skin and do them over. <laughs> That's then, right. You had to, like, re rebuild them? I had total reconstruction in one side. Okay, did you go bigger than the last time? Oh, because of course. They're... I was wondering if you ever, like, was worried about suffocating a guy with one of the, two of those things? <laughs> no, I give him a warning first. Hold your breath, you're going in. There you go. You are the fifth largest chest in the world? In the world. How, do you, how did you like, determine that? We go to contests. You, like okay. in Vegas. We just came from Vegas. So you're still like number five. What, can we ask what size? 36i. 36. <laughs> what are you going to do when you are older? Buy a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they heavy? Yes. Does it hurt your back? 24 hours a day. It does hurt your back, but yes. but you think it's worth it? Cause why? What do you get out of it? What I you... can take care of my mom and daddy. But what? Just by getting lots of money? Cash. I take care of my parents. Yeah. Yeah, but so what do you get? They're my guys? best friends, and they're poor, and now I can take care of them. So you can take and so they don't mind how you're getting your money? No, my mother's very proud of me. Okay, so what what are you getting? Like, what do guys give you? How much will you get? Like, in a one tip or one? My biggest know? tip was a thousand dollars. <laughs> you basically said that flat-chested, ugly girl no, went I for said, minimum wage. I said that I'm, I'm not a mean person, mm -hmm. because if I was, like when I'm walking through Walmart, the girls that laugh at me, if I was mean, I'd walk up and say, you know something? You're flat, you're ugly, and you work for minimum wage, so don't but laugh at me. Not, okay, but you're not me. Okay. to bounce like that not at all not at no all. pain they're 15 pounds each and they're so much fun 15 so you, 30 added pounds to you with those uh, that's right what size did you go from 55 what i went from a 55 to a 75 triple m okay i was thinking maybe you need to reduce the breast size and put it in you know right here in your ass that's what I didn't Baby, I got plenty right. back here. How many surgeries? Three surgeries? Three surgeries total. You are done. I am absolutely done. Okay. I'm one of the biggest features in the country as far as bus size goes. You can't buy I a bra. I don't need to go any bigger. I mean, no, I make all my stuff. You make bras? I made this. Okay. Thank you. When we come back to all the ladies out there, are you a true player? Find out and take our player quiz, along with a few hotties who say if you've got the body, you can get a man to pay for your vacation, your education, and your fascination with fast cars and fancy jewelry. Don't go away.
We're taking a look back at some of our girls with game. So, ladies, are you a true player? Well, here's a pop quiz. Can you smooth talk a guy into buying you an exotic trip? Can you get free plastic surgery from a guy in exchange for just conversation? Bottom line, can you get the looty without giving up the booty? These girls could. Watch. You say you have no sex with any of these guys. I don't have to. Look at me. I got this and I got this. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Can you even count the number of guys you played or? God didn't give me enough fingers and toes. Oh. Okay. This, this is just a real question because I see these shows all the time though. I just never, I don't care if I got a million dollars. If I'm in a club and you say hi to me, I'm talking to you. You think I'm just going to be like, oh, well, thanks for talking. Here's $100,000, by the way. <laughs> you know, I don't understand that. You got to, you got to, uh, you got to, uh, pop over your breasts or something. You be you know? asking me. I wouldn't be asking so you, wait, sweetheart. So wait, so I would be asking to give you $100,000 just You'd for talking to me. You'd be asking to sit next to you. You talking to me right now, I'd give you nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to say to Aurora, um, with all this hundreds of thousands of dollars that you're making and stuff, you think you could afford maybe a better Santa Claus outfit than that? Yeah. Okay, my question is, you're talking about getting your rent paid? You should have had him buy your skirt where your ass wasn't hanging out the back. But it looks good. But it I think that looks good. You've lied to men to get your, your implants, basically, right? Yeah. You've yeah. had two sets? Yeah. Two lies. Two what lies. What were the lies? What were the lies? Um, oh, my self-esteem is so low. Oh, all the other girls have them. Oh, oh, oh. Just a comment. Um, you may not be embarrassed to look like that, Christina, but you're an embarrassment to any self-respecting woman. Are you, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Uh, Where are you from? Ireland. From Ireland. From Ireland. How could you possibly oh, say one. that? I'm just How curious. You know no what have I done no to disrespect women? What have I done to disrespect anybody? Not I'm just curious it. as to what have I done? Shh. Well, let her respond. Yeah. Showing your ass and your boobs like that. You are beautiful, but you don't need to dress like that. Just be yourself. If, if we wore business suits, would you be here? Pardon? If we all wore business suits, would you be here? Don't you think it's a little more interesting to show this? If you can't see us through this, then what does that make you? I don't Should wear business suits, but well, I don't have to show my ass. I think my ass looks good in my jeans, you know? the club they, they look for people just to talk to you know they want to be able to buy these things with already knowing they're being used because it's like the element of surprise at the end of it all and they've already been had but you you're know not, they but you're not truthful hard. with the guys so you tell them you tell these guys you could fall in love with them that's just a con it's possible it, it could anything's possible in my and then, opinion do you ever sleep with possible. you sleep with them do i sleep with them yeah no 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 no, no. What do you do if a jealous woman comes up to you and like has a problem? You know with you? what? It's like it's like this. If someone has an attitude without even knowing me and they start giving me dirty looks, what you I said just sit there and I just go, you want to keep looking? Yeah. You bash your boobs in her face. Okay. So. so guys, just give you stuff for what? For just like showing up or for everything, anything, whatever. Mm -hmm. So whatever. what are you giving them in return? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing without giving up something. I'm sorry. What kind of guys do you sort of focus on? Okay. What kind of guys would you pick out of a room? I prefer brothers, thugs, you know what I'm saying? But... I just want to know. You said you'd be tricking people out of diamonds and stuff? You'd no, be like I am gremlin with a thousand teeth in your mouth. It's a, it's a game to you, right? So all that right there, all that ass could be yours if the price is right. That's how it is. You want to come on down? Would you give her anything? <laughs> I wouldn't give you a credit card. And this Chicago, I wouldn't even give you a link card.
hundreds of you played. Come on. You know what? Hundreds, As many right? as I can. Hundreds? Every day. You bring me a guy, I'm not going to try to get a woman. You're a married woman. Exactly. And your husband like Exactly. And you know what? I'm sorry, but it sounds like your husband is more of a pimp. You'd be taking it all, too. So don't even tell me that. Don't even tell me that. If you're married, what are you doing for these guys to get all this stuff? Talking. Come on, it's in here. It's in here. It's in here. It's in here. I do not go. I do not go to any private place with them. No. It's out in public. You're it's not sleeping down, with these guys. Talking. No. Okay. Hell Let me no. show you. Why Let's take a look. I can't knock the hustle, you know what I'm saying? If you got it, flaunt it, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Get that money. Keep that's getting exactly that money, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. You got this? That's all you need. That's all you need. When we come back, their sexy gear had to stop because their family said they had too much on top. Also up next, exotic dancers who forgot to leave their work clothes at the club. Don't go away. Should a stripper wear her thong to the grocery store? Should a woman with 36 double Ds flash a trucker on the highway? We like to ask some compelling questions here at the show. I know you want to stick around to hear or see those answers. I used to be a 34B and now I'm a 38C. I work Liar. really hard no, for this. I'm an exhibitionist. We like to have sex out in the public. That's, that's my personal <laughs> So we find this one place. We thought it was just perfect. Nobody's around. Well, little do I know that this really is a ski trail that's just recently snowed over. So I'm butt naked. I've got nothing on but my snowshoes. In the snow? In the, yeah, well, we were going to have sex. <laughs> All these fans, Chicago bitches, need a quick... your gap in your teeth. I see why you need to dye your hair and get the big boobs because you turn around and show all, got all that cottage cheese hanging out your shorts. <laughs> all nasty style. You need to carry your ass to the dairy mark, go back and sit in the milk section. Full dress sexy. But you don't mind if guys look at you and think about it. I mean, that's what you're, if you're dressed sexy, that's what you want. You want guys to be checking you out. Right? Well, obviously, if you dress you like this, you're going to look. You got guys running grocery carts into the. It's stupid. If you dress it like this, you're going to look, and we like it. That's the way life is. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. took your nephew somewhere in some sexy outfit, no, the, right? And people have no respect. No respect for little kids, no yeah. respect for my mothers. I could be wearing a sweatshirt and a pair of sweats, and they still come up to me and with my little nine-year-old little nephew saying, Christine, you, right. you, you, right. go, like golf. you go to a golf tournament, and what do you wear to the golf tournament? Well, we want to distract the guys so we can win, so. <laughs> so, so we're getting tall, so we're short. So you have, you have an agenda when you're dressed sexy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take a look at a silhouette first of Aisha. All right, here she comes. You like 
the attention from the guys, I right? I do, of course. Okay, yeah, what do you wear at the grocery store? Oh, I wear um, tight little bikini tops, or I wear my little shorts and stuff like that. But I mean, all the guys come, they give me free groceries, whatever I want. Well, I so mean, you're getting stuff. So I'm, because I'm great, I just like to say. Okay, you got stuff from guys like necklace, watch. Yeah, I get my necklace, my watch, I get money, whatever I want. They give it to me, I'm not going to uh, turn away. I get whatever I want. Oh, you say guys buy you stuff when you go to the grocery store? Mm -hmm. You need them to buy you some clear deodorant, because I can see your stuff <laughs> kicking on the You. What's wrong with them? Guys should never try to buy affection. Never, guys. Never, never, so never. Because you then many... you have to pay the idiot tax. Giving you too many gifts. Exactly. Right? Proposed seven times. Married guys are hitting on you? Married guys are the biggest losers. Maria, Ruth women as a rule do not take in. kindly to you, right, Maria? Yeah. Women as a rule don't like you. That's Is that right. what you're saying? Women? Women? Oh, women ask me out on dates. Oh, they do? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, let's see your vote. Diva or Dis? Come on, what's the deal? When we come back, she did more for a pink dress than Madonna did for a cowboy gear this year. But the audience still wasn't buying that she could play dozens of men for thousands of dollars. You'll meet her next. These next two women had a rough time with our audience. The first woman, Colette, not only claimed that she was the slickest female player in the game, she even called herself the number one female player in the country. See if you agree. Test. Were they all real or were they fake? 
find out when we come back. Well, these next two guests were accused of having phony, bogus chests. So we hooked them up to our lie detector test to find out who was born with it and who went out and bought it. Here's a look back at Ivory and Kisty. Niall claims his girlfriend's sister, whose name is Ivory, has a chest that looks like dueling basketballs. He says there is no way that Ivory's all natural because she's a gold digging player. See, for me, what it is, it's unproportioned. I mean, all the real players out there feel me. When it comes to me choosing women, I stick with the paper. You can keep the plastic. You know what I'm saying? But she says. I mean, yeah. Well, let's meet Ivory because here she is. Ivory! Say, Ivory, those breasts are not real, and you need to take some of them and spread them to the rest of your body. Huh? <laughs> you actually have names for them, though, right, Ivory? Yes, I do. What, what are your names? What are your names? Their names are Ivory and Ira. They're great big puppies. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Shh. Hold on one second. Go ahead. I was just wondering why your breasts look bigger than the other one. <laughs> to show it off. So what are you benefiting? Are guys like, are you making a bunch of money with them? What are you uh, doing? One time this guy gave me $200 to flash him. 200 bucks to flash? Yeah. And you did it? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all swore that Ivory was fake. She took the test. She's fake. Yeah! <laughs> Jenny, I don't yeah. know what else to say about Kisty Cream. The name says it all. It's like they're filled with cream. They're just huge. How big? Just huge. How, what size? It's just man. Oh, I don't know. They're like double F or something. And there's no way when you see them, there's no way that they could ever be real. And she just tries to convince everyone they're real, they're real. She's right over there behind that silhouette. Okay? Please welcome Kisty. Kisty, what size are you? the burn the bra generation. I so you don't even wear a bra. You don't even wear a bra. You flash, you flash your neighbors and stuff. He's just mad because I he have no has, reason his to be mad. He's as flat as a carpenter's dream. You said she was your neighbor. She was my neighbor. I wouldn't be complaining. Yeah, I don't know about you. Thank you. We're going to go back to Kisty. Kisty, our first guest. Basically, one question. She was she was asked if her breasts were real. She said they are, and she failed. Yeah. The reason okay. I lied was because I borrowed the money from my uh, breast job from a poor aunt and told her I was taking some college courses, and now I'm going to have to pay her back. So. Oh. We'll be right back. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show, and if you know a woman whose busty assets make her a player, call us at 312-832-4180. And thanks for watching. Coming up at high noon, it's the High Court of Judge Mathis. But up next, it's Jerry Springer on South Florida's WB39.